Okay, guys, I'm ready to record. Where's my makeup? Why are there vertical mice everywhere? Hi, digmates. It's Dominique. Since we have so many vertical mice lying around for no apparent reason, let's do something productive with them. A massive group review. But first, Let's answer the question. What's the purpose of a vertical mouse? What's wrong with conventional mice? Vertical mice are designed to avoid hand pronation by putting your hand in a neutral angle. Like when we sleep or walk or when we catch a ball. Eh. They also help reduce unnecessary wrist movements. Although that also depends on how you grip it. Some people have a claw grip and move the mouse with subtle finger and wrist movements. Others have a palm grip, which reduces wrist movements. Instead, you move your arm to move the mouse. Okay, great. I'm in. But there are dozens, if not hundreds, of vertical mice. Which one should I buy? Well, that's why we are here. We have tested all these vertical mouse models and we'll share our analysis with you. And who best to do so than the one, the only, our favorite CEO, Mr. Luis Sevilla. Whoa! Hi, Hello, Luis. Do Hello, Dominic. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. So I think we are going to be reviewing some mice, right? So I brought my mini mouse. Oh, so cute. I brought my mini mouse too. <laughs> right, so let's start, shall we? Yeah, let's start. Cool. So in this review, we'll be talking about the brand, price, the shape, the grip, the build quality, the buttons, the wheels, the sensors, and connectivity of all of these mice. And we'll also talk about the extra bells and whistles. Right, Luis? Yeah. And apart from that, we will also be rating these mice, right? We have meh. And also we have, how would you call this one? Why, God, why? And then, of course, we have the Luis seal of approval yep that's it so when we have an awesome mouse then we will use this one so let's begin shall we so the first one is a lenovo mouse uh, this is a brand that is known because they do laptops and many other uh, consumer electronics but they don't really do great mouse so it's 60 bucks uh, 60 for a vertical it's in the mid high, high range this shape is kind of weird and the reason behind this is uh, the inner side uh, has a recess. This normally is connected to a, a mouse that has a, a thin top and it's quite diagonal, right? Mm -hmm. To make it comfortable. But in this case, this mouse, the grip is kind of vertical or fairly vertical. And, and this, what happens is that forces your thumb inward. inward. Yeah, so it's not too comfortable. For it to be comfortable, or this area would need to be larger or this area need to have more slope. Uh, I would say that the, the grip is fairly bad for both claw and palm. Mm -hmm. in, in the claw one, because your thumb goes too inward, and in the palm, because even when you're palming it, your thumb needs extra material to uh, to hold it. Yeah, and I guess they just decided to put this cork-like material as a design aesthetic, but it's not yeah. really very It's not very functional, functional yeah. Uh, the texture is fine, but it's not uh, too nice, to be honest. And the buttons here feel average. average. Yeah. I don't like the sound though. I don't like the... Uh, very, very clicky. Yeah, that's a taste preference. The thumb button's position is fairly high, so it's kind of difficult from the from the grip to pressing. There's a lot of distance. Mm -hmm. Wheel is fine. Uh, sensor is average. So uh, build quality, I would say it's average with this styly thingy that it's uh, questionable, but for 60 bucks uh, with this shape, why god why yeah unfortunately like in in this price range uh, 60 bucks uh, uh, with this grip this build quality i'm sure you'll know i uh, continue doing laptops so let's move on to the mx vertical and the lift they look slightly similar yeah and to be honest uh, this is the evolution from this mouse okay so logitech uh, was a brand that designed uh, ugly black uh, plastic peripherals uh, around 10 years ago there was a shift and they reworked their style design language etc from that point in the last seven years and more or less they started doing more stylish or designy devices these designs are safe but nice and their materials usually are on the okay side but on the upper side all Logitech products, if it's a headset, a keyboard, a mouse, whatever, it's gonna follow this design language, these materials, and so on. That just to understand the context of this mouse. Okay, let, let's start with this one. The MX Vertical uh, was 
And I would say the first commercial vertical mouse from a big brand mm -hmm. that was received well by the the users right but at the same time even though it's a it's a good mouse it had a lot of flack or kind of negative reviews oh. and those negative reviews were uh, exclusively or or mainly because of the size because it's a very large mouse and mm -hmm. also it has some uh, peculiarities so for example on the grip if, if you can see it from the top it's kind of like very thin so yeah. this uh, kind of forces your hand in, your fingers kind of in this position but l let's have in mind that there's uh, two hand grips so we have claw and we have palm so if you palm it you have uh, flat fingers uh, as you can see here right and also it creates this kind of uh, pinch shape with your yeah exactly gripping it this way yeah who's this mouse for this mouse is for large hands. So even if you have a, a large hand and, and a palm grip, this would be fairly comfortable. With a claw grip, this would be fairly comfortable. But if you don't have a large hand, this mouse is just too big. Can I try it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, because you have kind of like a small hand, right? So even if you're palming it, it's too big. And it feels like I have to mount my hand on top of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's another few things, like for example, you have this, uh, the the, top, the bottom part is, is higher and so on, and for smaller hands, it's, it's not as comfortable. Uh, good things. Uh, connectivity, you can connect it to three devices and um, it's Logitech, so it always uh, connects fairly well. The buttons, uh, the wheel and so on is fine. Uh, maybe a little bit too loud. But, that but one is nice. loud, but yeah, this one this is one actually silent. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't hear it. Yeah, And we can see that this is the evolution from this one on many things. The thumb buttons, too hard uh, to, to hit, to be honest, but it, it's fine. And then moving on to materials, it's okay. This is a nice uh, rubbery finish and it has this stylish uh, kind of uh, like, lines. And the price point, I guess, for this type of I mouse? I think it's in the 90 range. Ah, so it's, it's... To be honest, it's expensive. If we put everything together, for me, it would be in the limit of, okay, if you have a large hand, this could be uh, a safe bet. But the grip is peculiar because you have to grab it like this with the straight fingers and so on. And if you're yeah. not pounding it, if you're clawing it, probably it's not gonna be comfortable because it's just too large. So it's very important to have in mind if you're purchasing this mouse, uh, what's the size of your hand and what's the kind of grip. grip. Okay, let's move on to the lift. As we said, this is the, the evolution and we can see already a few improvements. So if you see the, the top shape, it's curved instead of flat. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. And also it's much smaller, right? The buttons are silent instead of being clicky. The wheel, it's also more more comfortable. The grip, also the, the material, they're using a rubbery material. Over here. Uh, yep, yeah, and the, the grip is nice. The overall design language is similar. You can see uh, this shape. It's fairly similar. It like uh, lifts the back up too. here. Yeah, but there's an improvement on the thumb buttons too. Uh, it's they are easier to hit uh, because of the position and also because of the shape of the button and the pressure that it requires. I would say that this is a better mouse than this one on everything, but the size. If you have a large hand, you would you still prefer this one. one. But if you have a medium to small hand, you would prefer this one. As a device, I would say this one is is better. Probably you're not gonna absolutely love the product because it's not gonna be fitting your hand perfectly, but it's gonna be fitting your, your your hand fine if we have in mind that it's like the 70 to 90 bucks range that it's fairly expensive but you want something safe that is gonna have no connectivity issues uh, sensor is fine but fine then this is a Good. save it yeah all right so let's move on to the rating shall we how would okay. you first rate this logitech mouse overall rating it would be a meh okay and yeah, yeah. and the reason behind is the kind of the weird uh, grip and it's only for large hands mm -hmm. and then if we're talking for small hands then uh, you cannot use i don't yeah i'm not a fan of this yeah exactly. small hands but if you have a large hand then probably it's gonna be like <laughs> in the middle yeah in the middle like, yeah because of the grip <laughs> yeah but still uh, connectivity is fine a bit quality is fine everything is fine yeah but it's kind of expensive so in the middle but now uh, moving to this one what do you think about this one i think you like this yeah you said a lot of nice things about yeah. it seal of approval okay so next we're gonna talk about these three giant mice the evoluent mice so let's start with the company this company if i recall properly is from the 90s and I think we can we can see a little bit of 90s vibe uh, yeah. on the designs. This company has a few nice things. So first of all, this is the C, this is the D, and this is the four. The C has one size, the D has three sizes, and the four only has two sizes. So is it a D, a double D, and a triple D? Probably. <laughs> Something really nice about these brands is, is that they create different uh, mouse sizes for different hand sizes. So we were talking before about how uh, Logitech had this, these two mice that this is for large hand, this for smaller ones. But these are two different models. In this case, uh, this company is creating the same shape, 
different sizes. It's really important for this group that it's really vertical that you get the, the right one. Price, really important. Mm -hmm. These mice are really expensive. So these are moving from the 80 to 120 bucks. Yeah, this is, no, this is the, the D is the 100. Yeah, 120. 20. Yeah, most, most expensive one, yeah. On that price range, I think you should expect maximum quality on, on everything. And that's one of the main issues of this brand, quality. The, the sensor is the worst sensor of all the vertical mouse. If you, for example, you've been gaming with gaming mouse and then you move to one of these uh, mouse, you, you're gonna go crazy. If you don't care about the sensor, okay, maybe that's not a deal breaker for you, but that could be a deal breaker for many people. These shiny materials, these are uh, fingerprint magnets and it's not very nice to touch, uh, I would say. Once you've been using it a lot and it's kind of greasy that it's not nice, then the grip is really nice. It's really grippy. But I would not use this kind of material. The peculiarity of this mouse is that they have this third button here, okay? And it's nice because you can press it, but they use a switch that requires much more force. And I guess that's because you want to move your mouse uh, sideways. And mm -hmm. maybe if it was too soft, you will accidentally click. It requires so much pressure that it's it's not really comfortable. Yeah, it's a bit harder. Yeah, exactly. And then these two clicks, these two buttons, the position, it's it's okay. What's really nice is that it's soft. Let's talk about the, the strong points because we kind of started in the on the Negative, bad side. Yeah. yeah. So shape. Although they're slightly different, I'm, I'm just gonna talk as if they're the same. The shape is, is really nice. It's really comfortable because it's kind of like your hand is very vertical and it's in, in a very relaxed position. That, that's really nice. It feels kind of like it's filling your hand uh, quite a bit. And it's, it's important that you have the right size of mouse for your hand. For example, you are clawing it. And if I recall properly, this is a large mouse. So this for you is not, not comfortable at all. But in my case that I have a, a medium hand size and this is on the medium large size, this is very comfortable. If I had the, the palm grip, this would be comfortable. And something that it's really nice about this mouse is that they have this little wing here. And even though it, it's like a, a small thing, and you can see, for example, the Logitech doesn't have anything uh, even similar. And when you're using this mouse, your finger, your pinky is like being dragged on, the on this. Yeah, and sometimes you kind of get a little bit of your pinky under the mouse and that's uncomfortable. But in this case, this little wing, even though it's small, it's really comfortable. So that, that's nice. You're, you're enjoying it? Yeah, I'm, I'm very With... much enjoying it. I wouldn't want to be using that while my pinky gets dragged, dragged. all around. Oh. Poor pinky. Yeah, this is way better. Although it is really big. Another thing about yeah, it's not nice how the buttons no. sound. Yeah, that's about the build quality. It's so, it sounds like... Yeah, it's flimsy, plasticky, uh, yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, so people understand. Uh... <laughs> yeah, because when you're using regularly your mouse, you're slapping it. No, this is like quality testing. Manel would be proud. Okay, so another peculiarity about the shape. This mice are really tall. So if you're sitting in the right position, and I'm quoting right because right depends on your body and so on and also it could depend on, on the height of the desk and many things we have to have in mind that right way of sitting is kind of your arms in 90 degrees and mm -hmm. your back is straight this in, in theory but in reality many ergonomics. people ergonomics ergonomics yes but in reality many people are kind of like laid back okay the peculiarity about this mouse is that because the shape is so tall it kind of forces your hand a little bit your, your wrist upwards a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you're sitting in the right position, it can happen that you're forcing your hand too much like upward. This. If you're using it for weeks, and I've been testing this mouse for uh, for weeks, it's it, you can have it a little bit of pain in strain. your wrist because you're forcing your wrist yeah, upward. Yeah, it's like you're doing this movement. Exactly. Right? But that only happens if you sit really straight. And, and I, I do sit really straight with a pillow on my back and so on. But if you're a little bit laid back, then what happens is that the angle of your arm is a little bit kind of higher like this. And if you're uh, grabbing your mouse a little bit on the edge of the of the table, this is not gonna be an issue. If you have your elbow on the chair or even on the air, this is gonna be fine. This is gonna be comfortable. If you're the, the kind of person that sits high and your arm is gonna be on, on 90 degrees, probably even if you grab the mouse, that is the, the correct size for you. So we need to have in mind that this could be a factor of you not finding it comfortable. Yeah. Really one of the difficult things of rating this is that in many cases, it depends. It depends on many things. It depends on how you sit, how you grab the mouse, and what, what's your preference, for example, uh, I prefer to have silent switches on, on the on the buttons. I, I enjoy it more than having click it, but there's other people that don't mind it. You know, I, I, I think it's important to have a good sensor, but there's other people that don't mind it and so on. But anyway, in this price range, this is just too expensive for the build quality. What can happen is that you are in love with this shape. That I think that it's not gonna happen to many people with the Logitech. And I'm comparing the Logitech and the Evelyn because these are the most expensive mouse. There's people that are gonna really dislike this one, but they're gonna love it. But I guess for really, really large hands, this is the option they have. Because if you look at all the other mice here, 
these are the big ones. Yeah, but remember that you have S, M, and L with this. Uh, yeah, I know. So, so even if you have a small hand, you can find it comfortable. So what about we move on to the rating? <laughs> Personally, I'm not a fan of big okay. mice. I think we're gonna use the... Oh yeah, that's my personal choice. Digma's rating is e this. Exactly. So, uh, something really important. If the sensory is important for you, <laughs> then it's gonna be this one. Because the sensory yeah. is this. It's uh, too bad, to be honest. Also, it's uh, really expensive. So we're gonna be moving on to the med to this one. Yeah, it'll be like this. But I guess also if you just like to spend money on products that aren't that great in value, then yay! No, I think I think we're gonna use this rating. It's because of the shape. Ah, that, yeah, you did say it's the most comfortable shape. Yes, I think a decently large group of people, this is gonna be the best shape. So that's why it's kind of difficult to rate this one because it really moves from here to here going through meh. Like you said earlier, it depends. Yeah, what I would do in this case, knowing this, is that I would probably buy six different uh, mice and test them and then return five. Well, we did our job in providing information. Now let's move on to the next one. I would say the next one is like a group of mice. mice. Yeah, let's grab all of them, please. All of this, these two with a question mark, are OEM. What um, is OEM? Expert hat or something. Yeah. I should have this uh, sci science... Uh, the, the wig. A few moments later. Basically, it means that uh, this mouse has been designed uh, in uh, Chinese factories. Imagine that uh, I have a brand uh, called Rigma. So imagine my company Rigma wants to sell some cheap uh, vertical mouse and I would go to a company and ask, hey, do you do you manufacture mouse? And they would say, yes, we have 10 models. And they will tell me, if you want, we can put your brand in our models. Oh. Yeah, but these mice, uh, you can uh, modify them really little because uh, these mice, they've been designed in these factories and that's what they have. So basically, you buy really cheap mouse that they put your brand and that's the, it's the like, OEM products. Okay, so they just have the model and you just... You just put your brand. You just put your brand. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so Dominic, what do you think if we remove the wig? It's it's in my head. I think you look beautiful and I think you should keep it. I'm beautiful. You are very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> OEM, so for example, this one. Correct me, but I think that Anker is a fairly known brand, right? They mm -hmm. have cables, um, battery charger, whatnot. They have many things. But this mouse, uh, you can buy 10 different brands in Amazon. So you're saying that there are many brands out there with this design, exactly, but... Exactly, exactly the same design, exactly the same design. The only difference that I've noticed, because we have multiple of them in the office, is the buttons. Uh, some of them have are more clicker, more silent, require more force, less force, and so on. But build quality is the same, shape is exactly the same. Uh, brand, they just stick the brand and that's it. This is uh, Deluxe. I would say more general o OEM, uh, even though I would put this one here too. Then we have, I don't know what the, what's the English pronunciation of this one, how would you pronounce this run? Zelotes? Zelotes. 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 Uh, Zelotes is more Spanish. Yeah. Zelotes. Zelotes. Yeah, so Zelotes have. I'm not sure if this is OEM. Maybe it's a design that they've done. This one 100% is uh, OEM, and I've seen other mouse from this brand that they are, they are OEM. Uh, Deluxe is a brand that has uh, OEM mouse. I think this is their design. Question mark how they ended up doing this design, but uh, anyway. Futuristic, I guess. Even though they have OEM mouse, they have like they're on the higher quality side of the OEM mouse. If we talk about ergonomics, I don't know what they, what they were thinking uh, with this mouse. It, it seems like they really wanted to have this shape, and they just did the shape. But it's like really weird to grab. Uh, your thumb is sitting on this shape here. Uh, that it's not uh, comfortable mm -hmm. and if you slide it down then it's in a weird angle if you slide it up it's like holding a very thin piece that is kind of similar to this one but ha this one the logitech one has a, a, curve, a curve that makes it much much more comfortable at the same time the grip is so much better so this is just more futuristic looking i, I think this is more like a designy thing but when uh, design trumps function and then ergonomics go through the window and then if you're buying a vertical mouse just for design then i think it doesn't make any sense uh, build quality average sensor uh, average clicks not nice yeah we forgot to mention louise it's 60 bucks I throw it out that. the window yeah this is an interesting mouse so this is an interesting mouse because it has a very different shape uh, uh, to the rest of the mouse this is very polarizing you can find it really uncomfortable or you can find it really comfortable it forces your hand uh, on a weird grip that it's more like exactly you're, you're yeah. holding something yes, <laughs> yes you're holding Whoa. something something uh, interesting and noticeable is that it has this uh, rest palm rest mm -hmm. or wrist rest or however we call it and the thing is like 
if a mouse has this, you cannot claw it, period. And the reason behind it is to, to claw a mouse, let's say this one, you need to put this uh, this area of your hand on the desk, and then you're, you're touching the mouse with your fingertips. Yeah, so like it means this. that you have this wiggle room, mm -hmm. right? But with this one, it's not possible because your hand is not on the desk. Your hand yeah. is on the, on the little platform. You so have this, to move the entire Exactly. Hand. So this means that the way of using this mouse is from your shoulder and your elbow. If you have a low DPI, then this means that you would need to move a lot. So oh, imagine this for gaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, it feels like you have a joystick. It's like a weird joystick. Yeah, it's like... It, it's actually comfortable. Yeah, but, but it's comfortable to do that movement. But this is a mouse. You use this to, to yeah, use a computer. It's you not know? for cooking. <laughs> it's not for I cooking. Feel like yes, I'm exactly. So. Is this uh, detachable? Yeah, you, you can detach it. As well, it. okay. Yeah. So you can detach it. Yes, but this shape without that, it's kind of like. Don't break it. Yeah. Because your, hand, your palm is still resting. Yeah, but the thing uh, is, and now, now it's I'm sliding. Light. Exactly. Build quality. Average uh, OEM uh, 20 to 30 buck. By the way, uh, all these mouse are in the in this 20 to 40 buck uh, area, so they are uh, really cheap. Average. Yeah, average. Sensor average. Clicks are not gonna be too nice, uh, fairly clicky. And on the ergonomic side, if you have a large hand and you want to test a kind of weird grip, and you're a palm user, uh, give it a shot. If not, I would probably not recommend buying this one. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think at at, I my, at best it's going to be a, a meh one. So we are going to be doing a, a segue to the last one because they have fairly similar, similar shapes. Yeah. So even though Celots or Celotes or however we pronounce the brand uh, is an OEM uh, mouse, I, I think this one maybe has been designed by them. I don't know. It, it's kind of like a very similar concept, but I would say this one has a better execution. Uh, build quality and so on, exactly the same. The size is smaller and the grip is I would say more normal. You, you can give it a shot, but still, if you're trying to claw it, it's not gonna be comfortable. No. Yeah, and I think I would, you, you have to exactly move it a little bit sideways, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. It's a weird grip, yeah. Again, uh, if you're using the palm rest, then you, you can only palm it, okay? I would say this mouse has something peculiar, but it's really nice, and it's the thumb buttons. These thumb buttons are really easy to use, although they're really loud, uh, but if more mouse would implement this kind of uh, position of the thumb buttons and also the even though it looks weird because these are two little uh, circles they're fairly nice to use actually yeah yeah sensor wise uh, quality wise uh, everything very low slight average side if you're interested in this kind of this kind of weird grip uh, i would probably rate higher this one than mm -hmm. this one in the may to why god why i would put it like like this probably <laughs> so if you transition from a regular horizontal mouse to this one the transition is going to be very weird because not, not only you're going vertical, but at the same time you're holding it yeah, like if it's this... a joystick. So let's move on to these two. Okay, so probably these two mice are the most common vertical mice out there. Because it's OEM and other brands create Plus, this mouse again uh, they as are well. 20 bucks. I've been using, or I used this one for a long time, but I have an unfortunate story to, to tell about this one. So we were talking before about the grip, right? Yeah. And uh, so I have a claw grip. So this means that I'm gripping it this way, mm -hmm. okay? What happens is that in my case, this little bone here in, in my hand oh. is on the desk, okay? okay. So uh, I'm clawing it and my weight goes straight to that bone and that bone creates pressure in, I think it's a ulnar nerve, and it, it happened that it started to, my fingers started to become numb. Numb. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I didn't understand why it was happening. I, I play basketball, I thought maybe it was related to basketball. I hit my hand, something, my fingers, playing, whatever. But one day I was like, mm, I'm gonna go to a, back to a regular mouse, maybe, this helps. Mm -hmm. And in a couple of days, my hand, my fingers were fine. I didn't have this numb uh, feeling. Then is when I discovered that it's because of my claw grip, the, the weight of my hand and arm rest in this spot. This bone. Yeah, exactly. But that's a peculiarity of my grip, my hand size. If you uh, palm it, I think it's better that if you uh, if you claw it, at least in, in my case. But I similar to this one, the inner side, it's too inward. And it makes it kind of like, it forces your finger too much, uh, your, your thumb too much inward. I think I understand why <coughs> it hits your bone here. It's because it's not very vertical, so yeah, it's, it's, it's slightly... It's, yeah, it's like kind of in the, in the middle ground, yeah. I think it's uh, build quality, 
low low level build quality you know, click sensor everything low level it's 20 20 bucks but i would say from from here to here i think it's reasonable i think for most people it's gonna be meh, meh. i think i think for a few like me it's gonna be th the worst possible uh, experience yeah and not because it has a bad a very bad grip or a very bad sensor or anything like this but actually in in my case created the opposite of what we're looking in, in ergonomic yeah. products. Moving on to this one. So again, this is a very popular mouse, 20 bucks. Build quality, plastic sensor, everything on the cheap side. To be honest, I don't understand why this one is so popular because this shape here, from my point of view, makes no sense. If you're gripping a vertical mouse, you're creating this kind of uh, U-shape. Yeah. So it's creating like you could drop a nice mouse in the middle, kind of like a, a spherical shape, right? So but this oh, is sure. the opposite. Yeah, like for example, like this shape here, or like this yeah, shape here. Yeah, or this shape. Yeah, like basically all the vertical mouse. But this but, is the but opposite. Th but this is the opposite. So what's the logic behind this? Uh, to be honest, I think there's no logic behind this. I, to use this mouse, you can it only claw it. Yeah. Because, because if you palm it, your hand, like will eventually go downward because of, of this shape. So if you're palming the, the, ver the this mouse, it's not gonna be comfortable. You, you cannot use it. It's gonna be a, <laughs> okay, uh, if you are clawing it, it's fine. It's kind of on the safe side for the the claw user. But your claw plus a small hand, so maybe this mouse is a little bit too large for your this hands. This is a bit too large for me, yeah, yeah. Because I would do this and I can't click it. Okay, so uh, this two. Very cheap, very cheap quality. Good reviews on Amazon if you look. Uh, but <laughs> as I explained, very bad experience here. Uh, for palm grip, this doesn't make any kind of sense. Meh. Yeah, so I think on the cheapest side, this would be the palm, ver the palm version and this would be the claw version. I if you say. have medium sized hands. Medium size, yeah. yeah. If you have small hands, Forget maybe it. palming this one would be fine with small hands. Uh, with large hands, if you're palming this would be okay on the edge of maybe small. Uh, you cannot palm this comfortably, uh, to be honest. So let's look this this two. Your favorite mouse. Oh, why you're looking at it with some... What's going on, Dominic? Please. This is this is my mouse. This is your mouse. For how long have you been using it? Since 2018. Okay, for a long so time. For five years. Yeah. So... I love this mouse. What are, the okay. best thing about this mouse, I feel, is the grip. Especially mm -hmm. if you have small hands. And claw, because you're clawing it. I'm clawing it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't go full-on grip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just... Yeah, exactly. Chill, you know? Daddy, chill. And what do you think about the thumb buttons? I, I never use it. Yeah, because if you're clawing it, it's kind of difficult to use the... the yeah. yeah, but what I really like most about this is the click. Okay, so you like a kind of tactile, medium, Clicky. high? Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, not not as quiet as the that you want. Oh, I would like this, actually. Oh, okay, so you, you like more if, the if, silent ones. Yeah. But it's not pink. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, it's not pink. I want pink. The little wing, it's nice. For small hands, this is a nice uh, mouse for claw and uh, uh, palm grips. Fairly silent buttons for the kind of cheap build quality. Very glossy, not good at all. Uh, we can see some coffee stain here. Uh, why? Nothing to see. <laughs> okay. But so, why, why is the um, why don't you like the glossiness? So it attracts a lot of grease. Oil. Yeah, oil. Yeah, it becomes very oily. But it's grippy because it's oily. But then your hands are dirty and you're gonna be touching other things. So it's like it's not a pleasant. But like if you touch other things and your hands are oily, then everything will be oily anyway. Uh, it doesn't matter of doesn't matter the quality of. Uh, okay. Yeah. So let's right? put some. Uh, oil over all your devices so because everything is oily no but i mean actually with the glossy you can't see the fingerprints not like this one okay D dominic is trying to defend the mouse <laughs> that she's like i can't see this. <laughs> there's no yeah because that material uh, doesn't show the see <laughs> i see my fingertips okay so uh dominic is trying to defend this mouse because she's been using it for four years okay it has five some, five years it has some nice features but let's try to be objective here okay thumb buttons so i think they've tried something fancy here putting the button on top but it's not reachable so it's a nice idea. So what I mean, you're using a computer. Claw. Yeah, and you're you're moving your hand. And then you, you have a grip, so you're holding the mouse somehow. You do like this, and then you're moving your, your thumb. But you, you need to understand that then what's happening with the forces, you know? Yeah. So because of if you're clawing it and you move up here, this movement, your mouse is going to move. Yeah. You need to move, kind of release 
from this part to press on the top, but then your mouse is vibrating. Th this is not a, a good experience. You're, you're not gonna be accurate when clicking and so on. Mm -hmm. So uh, for example, y this one, it's easier to hit, even when I'm trying to hit and click in yeah, the other Yeah, that's what I feel when yeah. I with all the thumb buttons of all the mice. But for example, try this one. It's different because, because it's at the, the bottom. position, exactly, exactly, mm. yeah. When you're pulling the mouse, you have more stability with mm -hmm. the mouse, okay? So for example, if I was pulling this and I would move my thumb upward, it's easier to hit, okay? Because my whole hand and arm are uh, grabbing the, the mouse, so yeah. it's, it's very stable. If you're clawing it, when you move your thumb upward to hit it, you're gonna lose stability. Yeah. So this being a small uh, mouse, it's gonna be weird to palm it. And in your particular case, you're not using these buttons because it's just not comfortable. So the trade-off here is that you have more precision because you can do these movements up and down. So this is better. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as you move your thumb upward, you're losing stability yeah. because you're losing grip. But if you would do that with the palm, it doesn't matter because you can comfortably move the mouse like this. So that, that's something interesting. If you're creating a mouse or designing a mouse, uh, having in mind a uh, claw grip, uh, palm grip, where the mouse buttons are, what's the size, how it's gonna be used, you need to understand it all in the context of that person using it with the computer not only oh is this shape comfortable to hold yes this shape is comfortable to hold is this shape comfortable to use as a mouse in a computer not really for the price range i would say it's unfair i don't have a dominique seal of <laughs> approval i only have a... okay i would say if you have small hands claw grip and you don't mind not using these buttons then it's a exactly but if you uh, don't have a small hand plus claw grip, uh, then probably it's gonna be on the mess side. Yeah. I think we should also mention that they also offer this not only in pink. In <laughs> case you pink is not your color, they also have white and black. Okay, so this was a style decision. This model has a peculiarity, this uh, little joystick. joystick. Yeah, but also you can buy this one without uh, a joystick and this is an OEM mouse that it's um, sold by many brands. I would say from all the OEM mouse that we have here, this is the safest shape. This is the shape that for both claw and palm and the medium is gonna be fine. Yeah, I can cl I can use it as a with a claw grip. I can do the palm. Can you also purchase this without a wire? I think so. I think there's wireless versions too. So the joystick, I think this is a nice concept, fancy feature. Yeah, not super functional, but it's, uh, to be honest, I, I, I give extra merit to mouse that try things. I mean, they, they tried, but this doesn't count. <laughs> but in, in this case, uh, this, they, they try something, but being an OEM uh, mouse, you can purchase it without this. So it's even if you dislike it, it's not a problem. Okay, so the bottom, the bottom mouse. So depending on your grip, you're gonna find comfortable hitting on these ones. If you're palming it, it's gonna be fairly difficult to reach it. But if you're clawing it, it's much easier uh, to reach it. Uh, build quality, average, sensor average, nothing special here. Shape, shape, I would say it's fairly safe. From the 20 buck area, mice probably yeah i would say it's meh and nothing is particularly special about this one okay so i think we should do some kind of final rating okay so maybe on the cheap side and on the small let's say these are the most expensive one Let, let's pick two okay so for small hands or smaller hands and for larger hands so i think for small medium hand size probably this is the the winner here the logitech lift is the is the winner build quality because it's logitech <laughs> Build quality is good, clicks are uh, soft yeah. and they are quiet. So probably from all the mouse, it has the best build quality. Uh, probably it has the, the best sensor, good connectivity. So maybe this is the, the best mouse the overall. Best. There's gonna be people, it, it, this is a uh, medium large, but if, if you have the, the smaller size, um, there's gonna be people that are gonna prefer this size over, yeah. sorry, this shape sorry. over this shape. But on build quality, on sensor, on price, everything is worse. Okay, so it's basically the shape could be the deal breaker here. On the expensive side, I think this would be my picks mm -hmm. for the smaller hands, for the larger hands. Take into account that even if you pick your choice, maybe you don't like this mouse because uh, of all the things that are negative, but maybe it compensates because the shape is so nice. Yeah. If you have a large hand, uh, then maybe this would be the other option. Onto the cheap side, probably what we were talking about. This one. This one is the safest uh, bet. Uh, or this one. For, for small hands, this would be a nice one. For medium hands, this would be a, a, a nice one, I would say. And if you if you really want to buy one of these two, uh, then uh, this would be claw grip, palm grip, important. Yeah, just to basically sum up, it really depends on your grip, the size of your hands, and how you're going to use the mouse. Yeah, but budget, it's Obviously. important. Yeah, of course. Yeah, And it's really difficult to know what's fitting your size because you cannot test them. 
uh, my recommendation would be <laughs> buy many of them, return all of them, but one that is the one that you like the most. But that's a very annoying um, user experience or buying experience where you have to buy many mouses just to find uh, which one is the, the better one. We had to buy all of these to figure out what yeah, the and, good ones are. And, and we have many more. We've been testing many more and we haven't shown many more that we've disassembled and done yeah. stuff with them. I just actually wanted to ask you, Luis, what do you think is the biggest challenge when designing a mouse? So you have to consider a grip and you have to consider a, a size. It's very difficult to create a very nice mouse for everyone. Mm -hmm. You can probably create a very nice mouse for a specific grip, a specific hand size. So I think that's the challenge. And when you say it has to be ergonomic, that means that it has to fit different users. Or do you make an ergonomic <coughs> mouse that it's adjustable? Creating an ergonomic mouse that it's adjustable is, uh, is one of the things that you could do. For example, these two mice are adjustable in the sense that you can remove the palm rest. Uh, so they, they are trying it in this direction. There's other vertical mouse that, for example, you can uh, incline it. You can okay. change the angle. Uh, there's other mouse that you can change the, the grip where was the position of the thumb. So there's a mouse trying this kind of modular. But every time that you have a moving piece on a device, this, this makes it more complicated from the manufacturing side, from the quality control, this makes it more expensive, etc. Another question would be, because if you notice, all of the mice here are right-handers. <laughs> okay, something interesting about this is like, supposedly like 15% of the population is left-handed. Exactly so. But we did a, a questionnaire for race users that was answered by thousands of people. And we realized that even though there's like a, around 15% 15 of le left-handed users, what happens is that most of them grew using with devices for the right hand. So even though they're left-handed, most left-handed people still use the most with the right hand. In our surveys, I would say like 3% were left-handed that used the left uh, hand, hand for, for the, the mouse. mouse. If only 5% of your user base are gonna be using the left hand, then probably it doesn't make sense from a business perspective yeah. to spend the money on molds, design, whatnot, and put it out there in the market. Well, thank you again, Luis, for being here and for giving us a review of all this, these mice. No problem. It was fun. So thank you for hosting this awesome video. Well, that's too bad because now you're going to go. Really? No, no, please. You wanted to talk? Yes, Mickey. I wanted to tell you that I'm leaving you. No! Yes! I found other mice. What do you mean? They they know how to push my buttons. But there are too many. What are you going to be doing with them? I'm going to be with them. Bye! No. Well, I guess I will go with this one. Hello, Mini Mouse. Do you want to be my friend? Can you click my buttons?